Hey guys, we was going to go over uh, our, we've had this truck for 14 months and I thought I'd let you know what kind of money I've spent on maintenance in that time frame. This truck is four years old, all right? 2014, right? Yep, so you got to remember that. With the worst engine ever. If That's something right, the worst engine ever. Now, I've spent a total of just shy of $20,000, 197 I believe, for... 14 months of operation. Now, over 5,000 of that is just regular scheduled oil changes. And I do run all synthetics and everything. Um, That's what, 250 more than a regular oil change, roughly? Yes. Um, so, that you know, that, that's a, an added burden, but it's my choice. Uh, we've just, um, what, $2,800 on oil leaks and fuel leaks and air conditioners and door plumbing that I just put into it this week. Uh, 1800 on the air conditioner, 800 on DPF filters and the airlines, 5000 on a clutch that wasn't actually bad, but got changed. And that was within like the first three or four months we got it. Yeah, it came with a bad clutch. It should have... Yeah, it should have been fixed before we got it, but we ended up just getting stuck with it. I think it was actually a synchronizer that went out, but I ended up doing the whole clutch. Everything is new now. Right. But. I just did the whole thing. Um, there was another 300 on the air conditioner there. Uh, two new tires is all I've used. Uh, it was $1,000, a little more. I had to do a brake job. That was $2,800. And actually, part of the brakes was on the trailer too, wasn't it? So the whole thing wasn't actually the truck on the brakes, was it? No, I did a tire on the trailer. Oh, I thought maybe we... Nope. Not on... Okay. Uh, when we got the truck, it had uh, 399,000 miles on it. We put 200,000 miles on it, so we're just over 600,000 now. That's only averaging out 3,300 miles a week. But, you know, we, we've been off a lot. We was off for... We've been off for like maybe a total of two months this year. We were off a month before we came to this company. Right. We were during math. We've we been home for two weeks hour. now with little dog. Uh, we was off a few, what, two a weeks? Month ago, a month we ago. Were off two weeks. Right. So it's a lot of times we, we don't run. We don't go we, home for the weekend. We go out for two months or maybe three and then we come home for like a month straight. Right. Or three weeks straight. So that's uh, that's that's anything you want to add to that? Because this at a four-year truck, these were all things that you're going to have to do to any truck in the third or fourth year. Yeah, the only thing that on ours it would be any different is we had a clutch with a million and a half or a clutch a truck with a million and a half miles. We may have had to replace the clutch. I'm not sure. Eight hundred thousand we placed on that truck. Uh, this one here though was probably a training truck before we got it for it to go bad it when it did. Yeah, and the only other thing that's weird on there is we've spent more on an air conditioner than probably other people. But any truck you're gonna have a random air leak or a random miss occasionally and ours just happens to be the air conditioner. I a lot of people worry about this Max Force engine and with with good I don't blame you at all for worrying. <laughs> but we're in a position that if it goes out I'll just drop another in, an engine in it. I've got the money for to do that. But that's going to be a talk about another in another video, isn't it? Yeah. That we'll make right behind this video, probably. So it'll be the same setting. Because it's going to deal with maintenance and leasing. And versus owning. Versus owning. All right. We'll talk to you all later.